Hi, we're Mobile Network Comparison and this video is a tutorial for restoring the stock Rest of World ROM onto your Lenovo A850 smartphone. So this is going to be how you restore the Rest of World standard stock ROM that probably came with your Lenovo phone. So at the moment I'm just going to show you that we're currently running S123 which is the ROM that allows you to flash other custom ROMs onto your phone. But what we're going to do is we're going to revert back to the stock untouched Lenovo software that ships on all of their phones going to destinations outside of China. Right, so the first thing we need to do is shut down the phone, power it off completely, and then just pop out the battery, ready to set up the computer prior to flashing. So first of all, you need to have working Lenovo USB drivers already installed. We've included them with the flash tool, and make sure you download this precise version of the flash tool, because other versions probably won't work with this particular ROM. Today we're flashing the S116 official rest of world ROM, and just make sure you unzip that target underscore bin folder somewhere on your computer and then we can run the flash tool and get started. So once it loads up, as usual, we just need to go click scatter loading and double click the Android scatter file that's included with the ROM and that will load up everything for you. So there is a bit of a problem with this scatter file, it's not quite complete, so you'll notice if you click firmware upgrade as usual, it will say that all necessary images need to be checked and we need to check the preload here and in fact we actually need to manually load the preload image so just click on the word preload and navigate to your ROM source. And there you can find the preload.image file and load that into Flash Tool. Double check that you've loaded it from the right ROM file. And you can see these are all from the same directory, so it's all going to be fine. And then before we flash, again, make sure your phone's not connected. Make sure USB mode is selected and make sure speed is set to high. And also make sure you click this DADL or with checksum button. So then you're ready to hit F8 or click firmware upgrade. It's just going to quickly flash across and load up all these files ready for flashing. And once it's done, then I'll connect the phone to the USB cable and allow it to flash across. So just a word of warning about this particular ROM. It is the, the default ROM that you usually get with Lenovo A850 sent outside of China, but it hasn't got um, a custom recovery, it's only got stock recovery, so you'll have to go and check out our video for flashing a custom recovery if you want to go back and use backups from the custom recovery or flash across other ROMs later. But anyway, so we're ready now, it says searching, so I'm just going to go across to the computer and plug in the phone to the USB cable. Okay, so that's now connected and we're just going to fast forward through the actual flash process. Okay, so just while this is going on, I'll explain a little bit more about this particular ROM. So as we mentioned earlier, this is the official ROW ROM and that means rest of world. So this is the software that will go out on all Lenovo A850 handsets to countries outside of China. Just so you are aware, this ROM doesn't have root. Don't worry though, because it's really, really simple to root the A850. And in fact, there's a video over here, which we've made, which shows you how to do that. It just takes a few seconds. It's completely untouched and it's the same ROM that Lenovo send out, so that's why it hasn't got root. And this is also why you can't transfer apps to the SD card with this ROM. However, it has got some benefits. I mean, it's got all the features fully working. There's no bugs, no missing features. And it's also got great battery life. It's a completely official version of Android for this phone. So if you need to restore your phone to how you originally bought it, this is the way to use this ROM to get back to that state. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the flash now. It's taken just over six minutes. And once this is done, hopefully we'll see the nice green circle that tells us that we've done a successful flash. As ever, when you're flashing your phone via USB, make sure you're using a high quality, reliable USB cable and don't touch it while it's flashing. So we've got the green circle, I'm going to close down flash tool, and then I'm going to take my phone, unplug it, put the battery in and boot it up. So, see you in a sec. Um, actually, boot the phone up, I'm going to put the battery in and load it into the recovery, just to show you that this has got stock recovery rather than a custom recovery. 
which is a bit annoying, but you just need to hold down the two volume keys and the top key. And hold them, hold them, hold them until it boots. And you'll get the logo, you can let go of the keys then. And you can see, yeah, look, we've got stock recovery rather than custom recovery, so I'm just going to reboot the system to load up the new ROM. So this is the sort of default rest of world ROM that Lenovo supply. Notice the different Lenovo logo. So as ever, the first boot always takes a bit longer than usual. Okay, and here we are. Loaded back into the default ROM that your phone comes with. So you just need to agree to the settings, I mean the licensing. And I'm going to quit that. And here we go, so this is how your phone automatically comes. So it's got a few widgets. You can see we've got power widget there. These are the apps that it comes with. So it's a nice minimalistic collection. And that's it. So I'm just going to quickly show you that we are indeed on the rest of the world ROM as we should be. And there you go. So it's only S116, but the good thing about this is if you've backed up a recovery from this version of the ROM, you can restore it quite easily. So thanks very much for watching. We've been Mobile Network Comparison. As ever, if you've got any queries or issues with this tutorial, please leave us a comment below. And also let us know if you've got requests for future tutorials or even for reviews or anything else for us to feature on our channel. Cheers.